Well, hi everyone, it's uh, David again. Um, I want to show you a, uh, a new tool uh, today, um, which I'm sure you've already seen um, uh, across uh, across the internet. I think there's lots of uh, videos already um, out there uh, which have looked at uh, this uh, this device. Um, but I want to give you sort of my uh, my take on it, and um, I guess why I've bought it uh, to the the Tyrod Models uh, store. Um, what I'm talking about is um, is how we mix our paint. Uh, you know, a lot of us uh, uh, paint uh, you know, figures, models, whatever. Um, but the, the important thing, of course, is to, to mix our paint so we get uh, some good coverage uh, with uh, with the pigment and, and, and all the rest of it. And if you're doing um, lots of uh, different kinds of uh, of painting, you're going to be using lots of different kinds of paint as well. And they all need uh, you know, mixing. Now, there are various ways you can do that. You can obviously just shake the thing, um, uh, you know, shake the bottles, but obviously that's uh, that's not very, uh, very efficient. And there's a few solutions which, which are out there. Um, and I've looked at all of those. I've looked at um, the the vibrating um, uh, pads which you can uh, which you can get. Um, I think they come out of the the pharmaceutical industry, uh, but they're very useful for uh, for obviously mixing paint. And they use uh, you know, vibration. Um, there's a couple of other paint uh, shakers uh, which are, which are sort of out there as well, which I also uh, looked at. But I felt they were they were kind of unwieldy and they were not very very easy to use uh, i'm all about ergonomics on on the on Toriel models how do you and i actually use these things what are they like in our hands when we're using them um and those machines i felt um just just weren't good enough really um so i went back to uh, a few suppliers which i'd already uh, sort of contacted and um the the device which you'll see on the store is is from green stuff uh, and I'll, I'll i'll show you that uh, i'll show you that now um as i said you've probably seen this already uh, they call it the hobby paint shaker uh it's um it's been around for 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 a while and uh, i've been testing it for the last couple of weeks and um I'm very happy with it, uh, to, to be honest. Um, there's lots of things I, I do like about it, which I think um, if you haven't tried this out or you don't have, um, I guess, a, uh, uh, an electric way of, of, of uh, 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 mixing your paint, this could be a solution uh, uh, for you. Anyway, as I, said, I was quite surprised when I got it. Uh, the, you know, the box is very, uh, very compact. Um, uh, I don't know why I was expecting a bigger box, but it's probably because the, the video I've seen it looked like a larger machine than it's uh, than it actually is. Um, anyway, let's let's get out of the box and uh, I can show you exactly uh, what this uh, this actually looks like. So I'll put uh, put that there. Okay, so you get basically two bags. Uh, the the business end, if you like, um, is uh, is the actual shaker itself. Um, it's in effect a handle, uh, and it's yeah, it fits in your hand very well. Um, they they thought about how how that too will be actually handled by uh, by us users, and it's yeah, it's fine. It's uh, it's it's a good grip. It's a good it's a good weight. Obviously, that's where the batteries are. Speaking of batteries, uh, it's, uh, it's USB again. Uh, there's a, a charging port uh, on the bottom there, and uh, if I just stand stand that up, you get uh, obviously the, the uh, standard cable uh, in the in the accessories bag, uh, plus uh, all the um, the actual handles, all the, the I suppose you'd call them the holders for uh, for the for the paint. Uh, but let me get that out. Um, so that's the, the standard cable, uh, USB charging, no problems, uh, no problems at all. Now, the interesting part is, I guess, these holders. Before I get to that, um, when I unpacked this originally, uh, it, the, it, it does have this, um, this part which you must attach to the, the top, of, uh, top of the shaker. In effect, it, it, it gives you a, a way of attaching the, the holders to, to the shaft on the, on the motor. Um, once that's pressed, actually pressed on, uh, that's not coming off. I'm trying to get that off so I could show you how to, to refit that, but once that's on, that is not coming off. Which of course is very good because um, this machine uses centrifugal force and you do not want your paint shooting off across your, your bench. So once that's on, that's on, which is uh, which I think is a good design feature. So that's a, a tight fit once you once you get that on. Now what they do supply you with is uh, it's basically three holes, um, and these are the various sizes for for the paint which you uh, which you might want to be um, uh, to be shaking. Now, because there are so many, <coughs> excuse me, so there's so many different um, uh, paint manufacturers out there. Of course, um, they all use different size bottles um, for you know, for branding reasons, um, but that's fine. Uh, what, what I'm finding is that. Um, uh, the smallest one, and it does give you um, a, a really useful guide on the back. Uh, the smallest one is a 10 mil, uh, which is this one. I don't tend to use uh, 10 mil um, uh, paint or 10 mil uh, bottles. Uh, 
but I can see that being useful for um, if you decant stuff into a smaller bottle. If you're mixing some um, primer, for instance, you could put it in a very small bottle if you only want to make uh, you know, very small amounts or you have a particular shade. Maybe if you're doing some uh, camo um, and you put it into a smaller bottle and then into, into this one. The two really useful ones are these, uh, the, uh, the, the medium size and, and the large. Um, what I'll show you is how they all fit together before we actually should have uh, before I actually kicked this off. So um, the vast majority of you, I would imagine, are uh, familiar with with these um, 70 millimeter uh, dropper bottles. Uh, I've led you use these uh, and various various others, and, and they fit very nicely into into the medium sized um, holder. Uh, nice tight fit. Uh, this is a rubber material. Um, once that's in there, it's solid. That's not going to be flying off all over your your workbench, uh, which I was quite uh, quite happy with. Um, it's a very very good fit. Uh, I'll put that put that aside there. Um, also, of course, um, I only might be using um, uh, Citadels and also um, Tamiya. Uh, also, uh, there's the uh, the glass bottles uh, from uh, from Arclad. And lastly, you might uh, be using some of these larger bottles. Uh, I believe these are, uh, I think these are 60 mil, if memory serves. Yes, they are. These are the 60 mil bottles. Um, this one's uh, for, for the AK Chrome. Some material does come in these. Um, so you might, uh, you might um, uh, not have an easier way of, uh, of shaking these. Um, but there's a solution. What I would say is um, the, the medium is perfect for the 17, 17 uh, milliliter dropper bottles. Absolutely. Um, the larger version um, is basically for everything else, really. Um, let me start with, say, the largest one. I mean, this is a 60 mil bottle and, you know, that goes in. That goes in, uh, no problems at all. Um, it's, it, it's, it, that works really well. Take that out. The Alclad, again, the Alclad goes in um, nice and tightly. That, uh, that works brilliantly as well. Um, Citadel, that goes in very nicely uh, as well and lastly uh, Tamiya which I wasn't expecting to, to to actually fit very well but guess what it does uh, so I think that pretty much covers um, every kind of paint uh, bottle um, I think that I've got in my workshop um, I'm looking around and unless it's the um, strange shape ones from Mick you'll be able to pretty much shake anything um that's uh, in the vast majority of the of the uh, the bottle uh, designs which are which are out there so let's let's give it a, let's give it a whirl um let's go with the dropper bottles first because i think these are probably what most of us will be using i'm certainly certainly for me um so it goes into into the holder nice and nice and tight and likewise you push that onto the onto the end the on off switch is actually on the bottom so if i just press that once off it goes <clears throat> now that's pretty that's pretty good I, I think that that's a that's a good speed but this thing's actually got three speeds that's the that's the first speed uh, you switch it uh, press it once again to switch it uh, switch it off so what I'll do I'll show you the the three speeds but if I am perfectly honest um, I think most of us will never use uh, the second and third speed but you know I may be maybe proven wrong I mean do come back to me if you if you uh, if you feel some uh, some paint does need a, a, a higher um, a higher sort of um, uh, I guess paint uh, a higher uh, spinning speed, uh, but let me just show you what the the three speeds are, just so you're aware of that. That's one. That's two. That's three. As I say, that that is, you know, that's pop, that's top air. I mean, you, you, I mean that would definitely uh, <laughs> mix any kind of paint you you want. Let's switch that off. Uh, just so I'm not uh, not shouting at you, but that kind of gives you the idea. Um, let me just take this one uh, off the off the holder, um, and let's look at uh, let's look at the Tamiya one for instance. Um, again, it, it fits into the holder really nicely. Uh, then onto the foot, and press once, and off you go. It gets up to speed, and um, how fast should you speed these for? Uh, give it a minute, I'd say, uh, and then s see what the paint looks like. Um, I think some of the uh, maybe some of the specialised paints, like the Alclad, uh, for instance. Um, again, it will be kind of up to you to, to to test that. But let me just switch that off, uh, so I'm not uh, I'm not shouting too much. Um, it'll be dependent on, uh, I guess, the consistency and uh, also how they've set the paint up. Um, obviously, the Alclad, um, if you shake it, doesn't have a ball bearing. 
Um, some obviously do, some of the, uh, the metal um, paints from, um, what was I using the other day? I was using the, the metal set uh, from, uh, from Ammo, and of course they have the ball bearing. Um, and that's ideal. Uh, you know, put it into the holder, get it spinning, and you can hear the ball bearing doing its job. But again, it, it's it's a case of uh, trial and error. How how long you need to spin these things uh, for to to get a good uh, to get a good paint mix? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So that's that's the kind of paint mixer. Now I I like that because it's not going to take up massive amounts of space on my on my desk um, like a um, a vibrating um, paint mixer uh, would, and that has to be permanently on your desk, of course. So you have to plug these into the to the mains. Now, this is USB charging. When I'm not using this, it sits on the back of my my bench here or in a drawer. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so I'm I'm very happy with that. Um, I like the the ergonomics. I, I like the. Um, the, the feel of this it it's uh, it feels uh, well made uh, the motor is is not going to I think fail anytime soon uh, like I would argue that how many times are you going to use this I, I think this kind of lifetime with these uh, rechargeable batteries um, you'd have to use it a lot to to get to uh, to, to sort of you know, run the battery down um, I think it's a good addition. Uh, I'm very happy to put this on the store um, uh, as a, as a sort of an extra extra device, which I think everyone really could could make uh, make use of. Um, I've I've been testing it for for a couple of weeks, and um, it basically does the job, uh, which of course is the ultimate thing you're you're looking for. Um, but I would say with the vibrating um, uh, paint mixers, um, they can take a while to to mix the paint, and things like uh, metal paints or, or metallic uh, paints. Um, I think centrifugal um, uh, mixing is, is better than, than vibrating fixing. You may have your own preference, absolutely. Do come back to me with, with your own thoughts, uh, particularly if you've uh, used any, any other devices like this, because there, there are a few around there. And I've even seen people sort of lash one together with, with various uh, power tools. Um, but I like the compactness. Um, I, I like the fact that it can go in a drawer when I'm not using it, uh, so it doesn't take up uh, valuable space on my on my uh, workstation. But you know, I, I have uh, space for this, so it literally just sits sits behind um, uh, some tools until I need it. Obviously, I'm not painting all the time. But there you go. So that is the uh, the green stuff um, paint uh, paint shaker um, that's on the store uh, store now. Um, so any questions, any queries, uh, you know, do uh, do come back to me.